Hello dear friends, uh, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss the components of oral mucosa. So watch this video till the end. So the components of oral mucosa, there are two components of oral mucosa. One is the epithelium, which is also known as the oral epithelium. And the second component of the oral mucosa is the connective tissue, which is also referred as the lamina propria. Now, this is the histological slide of the oral mucosa. This part of the oral mucosa is the oral epithelium. So this part of the oral mucosa, it is referred as the oral epithelium, which comprises of uh, various layers of cells. This part of the, of the oral mucosa, this part, it is referred as the connective tissue that is also known as the lamina propria. So this whole area is the, is the connective tissue. This whole area is the connective tissue component. The interface between the epithelium and the connective tissue, this is the interface. The, this is the interface and this interface, it is irregular. So this is not a straight line. So this interface, it is irregular between the epithelium and the connective tissue. And because of this irregular interface, there are projections of the connective tissue into the epithelium. So these are the projections of the connective tissue into the epithelium. Same over here, projection of connective tissue into the epithelium. So these, this part of the epithelium, of the connective tissue, it is known as the connective tissue papilla. So these are the connective tissue papillae. So these are the connective tissue papillae. So these, these, these are the connective tissue papillae. Similarly, these are the epithelial ridges and these are also known as the epithelial ridges or the retipags. So these projection of epithelium into the connective tissue, they are known as epithelial ridges or the retipags. So at the interface of epithelium and the connective tissue, a layer is present and we call it as basement membrane. So this basement membrane is present over here, which is not visible in uh, these histological slides. So they are visible through spe special uh, staining methods. So a basement membrane is present uh, at the interface of epithelium and the connective tissue. This layer of the connective tissue is known as the submucosa, which contains fat cells. So this layer is known as the submucosa layer and this layer it comprises of fat cells. In some part of the oral cavity, for example in the palate, this submucosa layer it is absent and the oral epithelium and the connective tissue they are directly attached with the bone and this layer it is not present so this arrangement when the epithelium and and the connective tissue they are directly attached with the bone we call it as mucoperiosteum so the submucosa is absent and this arrangement it is present on the hard palate now, in addition to the fat cells, uh, in some areas, uh, minor salivary glands, they are present. And these are the, this is the epithelium, and this is the connective tissue part, and in the connective tissue part, these are the minor salivary glands. So these are the minor salivary glands. So these are the blood vessels. In the upcoming videos, we will further discuss the epithelium and the connective tissue in more detail. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, do give me your feedback in the comments and uh, thank you again and stay blessed.